if there's a full loop de loop in here that's a twenty dollar minimum twenty bucks it'd be nice to do twenty but i i don't think it'll pull a twenty dollar bill online i couldn't find anything <laughs> We're back for another one. Made another trip to the Benz the other day and uh, got some more treasures. To start out with, a whole box of Tyco track. Pretty good stuff. There's controllers in here. There's some loop de loop. If there's a complete loop de loop, that should be about 20 bucks by itself. I usually average a buck a piece for my track. So, I think I did pretty good. I also did some comparison. It's $1.29 a pound, and I used my mailing scale, and I weighed everything. And I ended up paying about $15.50 for this bag of track. If I had found it in the wild, probably wouldn't have done it. But when it's $1.29 a pound, it sounds like a great deal. And it is a good deal. There's money to be made. I, you know, I got so much track, I probably wouldn't have spent the 15 bucks. I didn't, I didn't, I got a little excited and I didn't quite think about it. But, you know, there's, like I said, if there's a full loop de loop in here, that's a $20 bill all by itself. And there'll still be pieces left over. So there's money to be made. Never, 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 never bang heads. It's falling apart. Never bang heads over money to be made. Found Mad Magazine board game. Did some comps on it. Haven't even opened it up yet. But if it's complete, should be minimum 20 bucks. Considering the box has a little damage and stuff, if it was really pristine, it'd probably be 30. Don't know if it's complete. Did really good with that potato head. We'll see what we got here. Got a really nice board. Worst case scenario, I end up piecing it out. Got money, dice, figures, cards. I'll have to actually do an inventory to make sure all the pieces are here. I'm not sure what it's supposed to have exactly. But based on the pictures, I'd say at least most of it is here. So I think that was a good score. For the Mad Game, I paid, it came in at a, a 1.8, 1 pound, 8 ounces, I paid about $2.30 for it. So that's not too bad. Found a Hot Wheels backpack. You unzip it, open it up, it comes a playset. think I can flip that probably on eBay for a few bucks. I haven't even done any comps on it. If not, I might actually use it for storing some things. I kind of a kind of a Hot Wheels fan. Just thought it was kind of interesting. And da, 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 da. paid about fifty cents for it. Pocket Simon found this. Looks to be in good order. It's in the original box. Got the original instructions. Battery box is nice and clean. It's even got a couple batteries in it. I'll have to test it, see if it works. All the instructions are intact. Nice little find. Probably pull ten or fifteen dollars out of it online. It'd be nice to do twenty, but I, I don't think they're quite doing twenty. But it's a nice little piece. A Fenton figurine. I'm sorry, Lufton figurine. Thanksgiving style pilgrim. Um, be a good piece to put out during the season. The uh, um, girl figurine. I paid like 17 cents for her. Uh, the Simon, 84 cents. What that come out to? This I thought was really cool. My wife didn't quite see the value in it, but I think there's a lot of nurses out there that drive jeeps or vehicles with spare tires. Really good condition. Spare tire wrap. Looks like it's for a pretty good sized tire, to be honest with you. I'd have to measure it out. Not sure what size tire it fits. But you can pull it tight with the strings here. This is 
Nurse. For life. It has a syringe, the nurse's hat, band-aid. I thought it was really unique. I'm pretty sure it'll pull a $20 bill online. I couldn't find anything comparable to it when I tried to do comps, but I thought it was unique. I'm not terribly sure if it was a custom-made item, a, a bulk order out of something. I don't know, but I thought it was really unique, and it wasn't cracked and peeling like a lot of them that you find. It was in really good shape. I think it's an easy $20 bill. Hopefully more. I'll have to... I don't, if I can't find anything comparable to it, I may just throw a little bit bigger price on it and see if somebody bites. Just because you, it's a little bit different and you can't find it very easy. Okay, let's see. That cost me $1.94. It came in at 1.5 pounds. Approximately $1.94, just under 2 bucks. Genius parking, you know that's for me, right? Not. I'm just a just a guy trying to make a buck. Um, not necessarily the smartest smartest person, but. We get it. Anyways, um, nice little metal sign still in the cellophane. Thought somebody might like it. And it cost me um, uh, genius sign, 59 cents. Jessie doll. Nice shape, except she don't speak. Don't work no more. I picked her up because I have bullseye. You look in one of my older videos. I found Bullseye, and I actually found Bullseye at the bins, and I found her hat at the bins, and it's the right scale, the right hat, it fits her. So I've got Bullseye and the hat from the bins at a different time and date, and I managed to complete and get a whole set going here. So... That should be a nice sell. I should be able to do that online. I'm pretty sure that'll be 20 bucks. And for Jesse, she cost me, Jesse, cost me 58 cents. I've sold a Jesse doll before at a toy show for 20 bucks. Nice Huron tool. Not sure who they are. They're some company, it's a newer sign, but it's all heavy metal. It's all nicely powder coated. Just a nice sign. Signage always does well. Somebody who might live in Port Huron here in Michigan might find it interesting. It might even be from that area. Um, and this cost me a little bit of money because it's, it's all metal. It's a little heavy. I probably shouldn't have picked it up. Uh, it cost me seven bucks. That's how heavy it was. So, but I still think it should bring $15, $20. Signage just does pretty good, and it's a it's a new sign. If it was an old sign, it'd be worth a ton more. Okay, what else? Now this is a nice little store right here. Battery operated, tin litho, made in Japan. Doom buggy, very cool little thing. I put some batteries in it. Didn't seem to want to work, but I'm still pretty sure that this will be. Couldn't find any comps online of this exact one, but most of the tin litho battery operated kind of stuff is doing pretty well. I'm sure this is going to be at least 20 bucks. I would try to probably get more because it is in really nice shape. It's got the nice little sticker still on it, all intact. Plastic headlights are intact, surfboards intact, nothing seems to be broken, other than the fact it just simply don't work. And I might play with it a little more, see if I can get it to go. But it's a cool little piece. So that's, that's a nice one. I was happy with that find. I love toys. A little Jellystone Park. Pretty faded. My wife thought it was really cool. She kind of wanted to pick it up. Needs some cleaning. Uh, Yogi Bear. I normally don't pick this stuff up, especially when it's really faded. There's lots of children's dishes out there. I personally have a hard time moving them. But what helped 
with this one my, my, my wife wanted it and two it's actually I don't know if you can see it Melmac brand and uh, Melmac's pretty popular so I thought I'd give it a try uh, five ten bucks I hope I haven't done any counts on it um, let's see here uh, is it Yogi the Yogi plate cost me 33 cents the Doom Buggy, the battery-powered tin lithal, cost me 50 cents. So that was a really good buy for 50 cents. This is for Hot Wheels. It's a launcher. You hook your track in there, keeps your cars going. I've already put batteries in it once and tested it. It runs good. I'm pretty sure it's a modern one. They made older ones. Looked a little different. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's even 2002 right there. Pretty sure that... Uh, it should bring 10 15 bucks I've even got some track I'll probably throw with it uh, and hopefully pull maybe 20 25 um, with the track so uh, it's kind of neat and it works so there's that and that cost me 85 cents a couple remotes TV remotes, any kind of remote, most any kind of remote, does really well online. You can usually pull at least 10 bucks with free shipping. Some can go as high as 40 if they're a special hard-to-find remote. Um, best way to test them, make sure you got a good battery in it. You pull out your phone, you turn on your camera, you look in your camera lens, you point it. See the little eye right there? You point the eye at your camera. And you push the button. You should be able to see in your camera this little lens flash usually in a purple color. And most remotes will work. Usually what hurts a remote is somebody leaves the batteries in it, gets all ate up. Um, sellability, you want to make sure it's clean obviously. The buttons are all intact. You don't want them all wore out. Um, if they've been chewed on by a dog or messed up, they're really not worth dealing with. But if they're in good shape and they just need a little bit of cleaning and they work, they're usually at least a $10 bill with free shipping. Okay. A Jim Beam Zingers store sign. Presumably it's from a party store. You can put your specials on here and need some cleaning. I'm not sure all that's going to even come off. Uh, I figure that's probably at least a $20, $25 bill. To a sign collector and the Jim Beam cost me three dollars and twenty two cents approximately these are all approximates pretty close to what what it actually was so some of this stuff was like a couple ounces here and there and I'm not sure if their machine rounds up or rounds down or how it works exactly but it's pretty close Media, sealed media. I got a whole bunch of Sony, which is a very good brand, very desirable. In fact, anything Sony sells, right? Um, Sony media, sealed. All of it. There's a uh, six, seven tapes. Should be able to pull in Sony. I would think fifteen or twenty dollars for them. Um, free shipping. All sealed. They should sell pretty quick. Any sealed media, any sealed media usually does pretty well. And I paid $1.29 for the whole pile. So that's a good deal. Just a random bag of decent quality animals, mostly horses, exception of the cool little buffalo. The horses, I, I like to do little groupings of animals, especially if they look good, if they're decent quality. And uh, I sell them online, and I can usually pull 10 to 20 bucks out of a grouping, depending on the grouping, the animal subject, the quality of them. And I've sold groupings of horses before, usually for about 15 bucks, with free shipping. So I got those. 
they were all kind of in the bottom of a bend in the same area. And the horses cost me a dollar nine. He-Man, on one of his vehicles. I love finding He-Man toys. 90s toys, they sell really well. I don't even know the exact name of the vehicle, but it's definitely a He-Man vehicle. And it cost me... He-Man vehicle, 75 cents. That's probably $10. Should be able to get 10 bucks out of that vehicle. Stickers are all nice. So yeah. I think that's a ten dollar bill. Pennant. Joe Montana pennant. That didn't cost me much of anything. Um pennant. Nine cents. And they are selling for ten bucks online. And there's even a little pin down here, which isn't part of the pennant somebody left on there, which probably adds a little bit to the value. I probably saw that stuff for two or three bucks. So that was a pretty good buy. Some little trinket stuff here, little McDonald's toys, thought he was kind of cool, Energizer Bunny, keeps on going and going, right? He doesn't want to go, but uh, just some little trinket toys, probably get a buck or two a piece out of them. Um, Pretty sure I had them on here. Smalls. I paid like 53 cents for the whole pile. The little trinkets. Ink. Even if it's out of date, always sells good. I've never sold a thing of ink for less than 10 bucks. That's why I grabbed this. And this one cost me 9 cents. So, I mean, if I can sell it, turn 9 cents into 10 bucks, that's a good buy. Uh, sometimes ink can go for more. Depends on the number and uh, the date. But even expired ink will sell. And then I got some plush. Got a nice Yoda. Let's see, did I do individually? Yep. Uh, Yoda. He cost me $1.54. I'm pretty sure he will bring me 8 or 10 bucks. I've actually sold a Shaggy before for about 8 bucks. One just like this. And the Shaggy cost me $1.41. Got a neat little Sylvester. He's got to be worth five or six bucks. Sylvester was 25 cents. Here we go. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh no, I just stuck my finger in there. I've got a hole. Well, he ain't worth much of anything. Maybe I can stitch it up. Did not realize. Goes to show you. Look at everything really close. He got a hole. I just thought he was cool, ugly little rat. Actually, he's a possum. Swamp rat. Whatever you want to call him. I like this really bizarre stuff. He's got a hole. Can't be worth much. Darn. Okay. What did he cost me anyways? 42 cents. So I guess even if he ends up goodwilled... Not a huge deal. Arthur! Ba -dum -bum. Smart little kid, right? I actually want to give this to my oldest son. There's a little story behind that. Arthur cost me 58 cents. My, my oldest son was in the hospital and they had him on uh, morphine for some tests. He, they, they drugged him up good. And uh, he tells a story that he knew he was high when he was talking to Arthur the Cartoon. And he realized he was talking to Arthur the Cartoon and he made himself shut up because he didn't want to be embarrassed. But he told me that story and it's been hilarious. It was hilarious. So I always tease him with Arthur's now. So I thought this would be kind of cool. I might give it to him. And he'll want to throw it away. I'll end up getting in and up with it back. But it's uh, kind of funny. Neat little family thing. But that's my haul for, uh, for the bins. I'm getting addicted. I've been there twice. <laughs> I want to go back. It's fun. We spent... Four or five hours, my wife even said that she had fun. The, the discovery is really cool. Um, it can be addictive. And, it, and, and you just got to really stay calm. You know, it's almost like auction fever. 
You know, it's like, oh, it's only a buck twenty-nine a pound. You start grabbing stuff. You got to remember, it adds up. Like that track, I wouldn't have paid fifteen bucks for it out in the wild, but at a dollar twenty-nine a pound, it sounded like a good deal. And I picked it up, and I was like, oh, it ain't bad. And I just threw it in the cart. I know I can make money, and I can make money on it. But I got so much track right now, I probably shouldn't have spent fifteen bucks on it. So it happens, but I'll still make money on it. Just so you know, uh, I paid about. $43 for the entire lot at the bins and uh, I think I should be able to pull probably 150 bucks out of it so there you have it there's always money to be made somewheres um, Lately, I'm getting pretty frustrated with our thrift stores. They've been going up in price. There was a big shift in management and employees at my favorite one, and they've gotten quite pricey. And it's a little annoying. Fortunately, it's yard sale season, and now I know where the bins are at, our local bins, uh, about half hour, 45 minute drive. Um, and I'm willing to go there at least once a week if I need to. I really enjoy the bins anyways. So there's always a way. There's always a way. You can always find stuff. Even if you're favorite source dries up or changes so keep that in mind never give up always keep pushing and you can find something you can make a buck on okay wanted to show you guys i have been working on my garage uh, i know you probably noticed in the backdrop it was quite messy it still is i'm probably i don't know three quarters through it but i've been cleaning it up those are all empty bins and boxes. I've got a little bit more organized along my, my outgoing shelving. I've gone and put up some shelves. That's all going to be eBay order stuff. This is all vintage clothing going to go in eBay probably. All these shelves are going to be eBay. These are bins I'm still sorting. Most of these bins are already sorted. As you can see, they're tagged on what booth they're probably going to go to. That corner is a bunch of lighting I still got to go through. I got lots of mason jars I got to go through. I'll probably bulk them out unless there's something special in them. Um, my wife does her books and CDs back here. Got some little bit of stuff to go through here yet. Working on getting this stuff worked through. But I'm getting there. I'm working on it. Um, we've got bins full and marked of different booths we want these items to go to so we've been working on the garage getting her in order that's been a priority so i've been been laxed on filming been laxed on uh uh some listing i've been slamming facebook because i've been liquidating a lot of stuff that isn't worth dealing with or i've had a long time and i've been uh just just floating it out quick and and cheap and uh but anyways, we're getting there. We get this organized. That'll help a lot. It was getting to the point where it was out of control. I did have a, a, a time there where I was having a lot of distractions, a lot of things going on family-wise. Uh, that was keeping me from getting things accomplished. But now I'm focused, and we're getting things done, and uh, appreciate the support. So if you like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you don't want to see. If you see me make a mistake or you know something about something I said was wrong or incorrect, let me know. I'm always willing to be be, be, be schooled, um, and I don't take offense to it. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.